that person. We will see. I'll I'll maybe examine it later. Let's get back to the task at hand. I I do find it humorous that you guys basically that thing waits randomly in one of the alcoves, and uh, I roll when I made the map. You guys walked right into that specific alcove right when you started the map. I I do find it humorous. That's fine. He wasn't that bad at all. I just think that was kind of humorous. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna search. You're going to search where? These there. Search the endings. Give me that for some... Search one. You find some rocks. Search number two over there. Ooh, more rocks. That ends. Fair enough. We... Uh, did the jelly Heading this way. <laughs> That's what I think. As you were walking down here, you can in. It seems like it's in the distance. You can't tell which direction it's coming from. You hear the occasional. It sounds almost like thunder. Like the hammer on an anvil. No. <laughs> Very specific. Because it is making the ground shiver slightly. A very big hammer. Big hammer. No, because the sound lasts longer than you think a hammer hitting something. So it's basically oh. just thunder. That's kind of, Yeah, it sounds kind of like thunder. <laughs> That's why I said it sounds kind of like thunder. Okay, I wasn't really Can sure. Can I get 12 squares? I can give you a number of squares. Whether you get 12 depends on where you are and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> he wants it over here. Please stop playing with the ruler. Really, you're you're holding up everyone doing that stuff. I am. Not you. Whoever's doing that with the ruler, please stop. It's also that... really annoying to watch. <laughs> okay, that's better than your hold. I was like, how is this holding everybody up? Well, because you're the light, and we're waiting on you to move up. Yeah. Well, I'm. Okay, fine. I'll pass the door. Huzzah! Hello, What's... I'm casting light everywhere. Malco. Oh my gosh, this place is a maze, by Chuck says. We're ignoring literally everything over there, unless it attacks us as we walk. No, no, stop that, Jacob. Do that. You get to make bad jokes, so do I. <laughs> it has been decreed. Let it be known. Since he makes bad jokes, so is he. What the heck is that? Is that just a pile of rubble? Uh, yeah, that's a dead, dead end. That's also where the edge of the map meets. That's why there's a change in color. You go back this, this like, way. This is like eight different little map pieces put together. It was really hard to make them look like they work. They look like they work. Give me 12 that... squares. Yeah, you can see something in the distance. What the heck is that? Water? Yeah, it might be water. I ready my shield <laughs> as I slowly walk that way. I load my hand crossbow. I load my staff. Staff loaded. You like pump it like a shotgun? Is that it? <laughs> Hold it like a if pool it, cue. Give me some more squares, please. If his staff had magic missiles that he just cast freely, it would be like a shotgun. Alas, it does not. I don't know, that kind of looks like ice. No, it's definitely water. 
Oh, I get why it's called Wave Echo, because there's, like, waves and they echo. Like, thunder. <laughs> and you say this out loud, and Blackjack's like, huh. <laughs> yeah, there's stairs over there to the right. Okay, uh, there is a a still pool fills much of this cavern. It's still? Water is still, it doesn't appear to be moving. Uh, the water is dark, revealing little of what might be within it. The shore of the pool consists of a thin layer of broken shells from strange pale mussels, and a fishy odor hangs around. There is a set of step, step, a set of steps to the east, and up here you can see the water moving uh, away. Up here you can see water flowing, flowing out, out that direction a little. It's very slowly. So it's going from from here to somewhere else via there. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Uh. Hey. Hold my shield. He holds it. And Lazarus is. I am not impeded by... I don't get negatives for swimming. So, Lazarus uh, takes a deep breath and wades on in. Start looking at down here. Lazarus, for a moment, <laughs> debates taking off his armor, but then realizes that the rules are different in 5th edition and decides to wade in regardless. Why are you going in there before you go in there? He Blackjack says. Uh, well, A, it's murky water. There might be something down here. B, it's murky water and there might be something down here. So if we leave and it falls behind us, I'd rather not get flanked. It's fine. If if something grabs your ankle, just scream slightly loud, but not super loud, because that would get everything <laughs> else's attention and would come running to us. Well, make it sound like thunder. Yeah, make it, your scream sound like thunder. Oh, 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 oh. I'll just head on in and see what it's like. Oh my gosh. You wade in, and after literally just two or three feet, you're swimming. Yeah, I don't think screaming is going to really work that well. More like gurgling. Yeah. Well, Zing's going to look for ripples in the water and actually walk around this way. Okay, give me Whoa. a perception check. I would like to assist with that perception check. Looking for dim ripples. I'm looking for stuff. Hey, dim ripples at? Uh, Lazarus, every now and again, is going to dip his head underneath to try and see if he sees it. You see ripples go across the top of the water every now and then, but you aren't sure where they're coming from. Lazarus, I don't know if you should really be in there. Zing squints at the water. Zing, Zing kind of mumbles something to himself and just kind of like stands awkwardly and just kind of like he can't really tell what's anything. Uh, in Lazarus, there. yeah, what does that roll for? Uh, looking around underneath the water. So you're diving down and looking around. Yeah, I take a deep breath. Okay, so you're looking in the area, like, directly around you. Maybe, like, five feet and all the way around you? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, you, uh... You don't find anything. I'll go back up for, water. For, for air. Flash. Move some. Take a deep breath and keep... And go back down to look. You do not go away. Give me another check. Hello? Hi. 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 
you didn't respond. <laughs> I said, are you going to continue moving and looking? Oh, I yeah. <laughs> then move. I did. Your I was mistake. here. I'm up here. Yeah, that was your first one. And then you were here. Actually, it's probably better for me to go here since, like, that's where it was technically. Oh, well, I'll right go here. The... Yeah. Okay, roll me a perception check. You'll find something almost directly beneath you. Oh. What? Uh, you find a skeleton. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. With some arrows in it. And you do happen to notice that in one of his bony hands, there's something in that hand also appears to be wearing something. Greens or something. You aren't sure? It's murky. I will dive down and try and get the things, I guess. Okay. Uh, give me a strength check. You reach down, grab the wizard's, grab the skeleton's arm, and uh, pull, and the whole arm comes off the skeleton, still clutching something in his hand, and you do see there are, there are two rings on his hand. I will swim up, then. You swim up, clutching the skeletal arm. <laughs> hey, guys! I found an arm. Can I see it? Yes, you see an arm is holding a stick of some kind, and it has two shiny wings. Okay, Zing holds out the shield and kind of, like, makes a gesture as if, toss me the arm. Hey, the arm. Toss me the shield. Uh, was that all I saw in the guy? Skeleton? I, uh, there were some, uh, arrows lodged in the, in the skeleton, but I didn't think you wanted those. Did you? Did yeah, you? Yeah, I'll. Did you throw the ring I'll, arm at me? No, I'm. I'm just waiting back over to land. Oh, sorry. Well, you're swimming, and then near the edge, you're waiting. Yeah. It gets deep fairly quick. So there's a stick and two rings. What do the rings look like? They're shiny, silverish looking. Do you want me to see if I can identify them? Uh, sure. There's also a small stick. Okay, I tried to identify Actually, one of the rings. It's actually a fairly large stick. Oh. It's like 11 inches long or so. Oh, fancy. I tried to identify one of the rings. Looking back at the last eight years, what say, did I you say? one of the rings. Using identify? Yeah. After the minute you come to realize, it is a regular platinum ring. Holy shit. And then I try to identify the other ring. After another minute, it is a regular platinum ring. I tell them these are both platinum rings. And then I try to identify the stick. Or I identify the stick. Yeah, you do, you do identify the stick. And I want to give you the full information on said item. As as you are identifying it, you realize it's actually covered in gunk. It's actually a metal stick with a blue kind of twisted looking gem thing on the end. Okay. You wipe the gunk off. And after the minute, you know that it is a wand of oh, magic missiles. Actually, I cast press dig digitation. Oh, then you and it's instantly clean of gunk. But still, after the minute, you know it is a wand of magic missiles. It has seven charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one or more of its charges to cast magic missiles, the magic missile spell. For one charge, it's at level one. You can increase the spell level for each additional charge. The wand regains 1d6 plus 1 expended charges daily at dawn. Spends the last charge, roll it d20 on a 1, the wand boats busted. 
Wands are a lot better in 5e. Yeah, that's basically like having a gun. Recharges. Jesus. Like, in 3.5 it's just like, oh, it has X amount of charges. You spend EXP to get more. Holy shit. You know what? Can anyone use that wand? Yeah. Anyone yeah, can I use a wand. Holy shit. Give it to uh give it to I the cleric. The wand. Well, I don't yeah. really have any ranged option. I... Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. He he has his, uh sacred flame. I forgot. So you you would be the okay. best person with that. He does uh, okay. very well with sacred flame too, so I hang on to it then. Er. <laughs> Well, that still leaves me without a range adopt. Which I think was Zing's yeah. idea. To... Yeah, oh, that's what I was saying. I didn't hang on to it, yeah. Sorry, I thought you told me to hang on to it. But hang on to it when I was identifying. S- sorry, I thought Lazarus still had it. Um, No, no, Lazarus, th- that's definitely for you. I've got darts. Um, Gl- Blackjack has a crossbow s- spell, and you've got that, so... Magic missile. Oh my god. As Lazarus like, slowly gun- began to turn into rune. Oh god. <laughs> I'm magic missile. Okay? Uh, roll your attack. No, no. I'm magic missile. They all die. Uh, I will be on autopilot for like three minutes because I have to take the dog out. Okay, that's fine. I, since he's doing that, I have to go to the restroom. Okay, because he's doing that, you have to go. To... Well, letting the dog out, you know, and I'm also. You know what I meant. Okay, Go see, you. be right back. Give me like three or four minutes. Yeah, that's fun. Right. Once he gets back, I'm gonna take a look at those platinum rings. I actually have a spell that needs two platinum rings to use. So that's amazing coincidence. Are you are you serious? Warding bond. Takes two now, platinum rings, but they have to be worth 50 GP each, so I'm going to appraise them and see how much I think they're worth. Does, does Chris know this information? I haven't brought it up yet. I was going to once he gets back. Oh, don't bring it up. Just just ask him how much it costs. Just be, how much they're worth. Okay. Because if, if he doesn't know and this happened, then that's just like the best coincidence ever. What was it again? Run that by me? Sorry. I have a spell that requires two platinum rings, a warding bond. So that's like an amazing coincidence that he found those. Well, okay, if if it takes platinum, well, if these rings are silver, then you're fucked. But no, they're platinum. I already said that. Oh, really? Yeah, I identified them. What the fuck? Okay. It, it must be the Pokemon. I don't know. Maybe he knew somehow. I don't know. No, I know. Oh, he knew. Chris knew somehow about his character. I don't know. I don't know. That is a really crazy yeah, coincidence. Is, um, yeah, so if I'm wearing one of the rings and then someone else is wearing the other one, I can cast it and they get plus one to AC and saving throws and resistance to all damage. Oh. I take half the da- So basically, they take half damage, I take half that damage, so we sort of split it. Yeah, but, but they get, get a bonus. AC saving throws. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Dude, it's I like would totally. Holy shit, you know how I would use that? I would give that to Lazarus, and then let you two split the damage. <laughs> I'll just stay beside, b- b- kind of in range of you, and heal you. And then, like, I-, I don't have to be in the middle of combat. I can be just, like, back with you as you're taking damage, healing you. That's really... No, I think I think you should be in the middle of combat. He, like, he needs somebody else besides him so that if, so that you can take the damage and he, he can use the shield to mitigate attacks. He needs to use the shield to mitigate attacks. Yeah. Are uh, you yeah. a ranged character now, Mike? Um, I'm I'm still any. I'm super about maybe level 8. Because yeah. I'm definitely not I'm a ranged character, character, so. Yeah. And so, I mean, for me, it's just like whatever I need to do. So, like, I can deal a good amount of damage. I can deal... Uh, a little bit more damage if I'm not ranged, but I mean, otherwise I'm I'm ranged or I'm not ranged. I'm whatever. It's really unoptimal for me to actually. Be... My my damage won't scale. I thought I said like level eight or level nine will kind of be like 
I should just keep casting spell, hopefully. So or I'll just be useless. What class are you right now? I'm level one rogue, level two bard. How many levels are we? Three. So okay, level. Yeah. So you're mostly bard now. Okay. I'm going all bard basically. Yeah, I took one level rogue and I'm done. Okay. Why did you want one level one rogue? Uh, one extra skill, and I get double expertise. So next level, I am like the wizard. Next level, I get three additional skills, and I get two expertises. Damn. Which means, expertise means I double my proficiency bonus. Fuck. And then um, I'll have three additional skills that I'm proficient in. And right now, I've already got jack of all trades, which means anything that I'm not proficient in, I get half of my proficiency. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna, um, there was something I needed to do really quick, but I forgot what it was. I need to grab my cell phone. I'll be right back. And then there were two. Hello. Hi. And then we're, there were three. Oh, did we lose someone besides Potato? Yep. Was it Ross? Yep. yep. <laughs> uh. So basically, twice per day, I can just guarantee fire magic missiles. No, six magic missiles. Yeah, you can cast the whole thing at once. Well, no, like, it fires... It casts magic missile at whatever level. Yeah, and it's just an additional magic missile, basically. So, just level one, which is one charge, is three magic missiles. Yep, unleash them all. Kind of silly. It's like, oh, you take 64 plus 6 damage. I think so. Is that an actual item? I I think so. I think so too, but what... I think... Talking about the Wand of Magic Missiles? Yes. The Wand of Magic Missiles is Here. both in this Adventures PDF and in the DMG. In the DMG, that's where it was. Okay. Oh, there's like a, there is a whole lot of magic items. I saw a lot of wands in there. Magic items are just weird here. There's like 12 or so wands. Because I'm just DMG. used to like wands being well, these are utility items so that art people don't have to prepare that spell for today. Wand of Magic Missiles is usually eh, but here it's just like I cast Magic Missile, everything done. Oh, I get at least uh, the next charge. You're roboting right now. You are a robot. Does the wand have a maximum level of charges. Yes. It will not get more than seven. Okay. Uh, Jacob said that he had something with platinum rings. Oh, yeah. We want to determine how much the platinum rings are worth. Okay. He, well, anyone can determine it, but he gets advantage. Why does he get advantage? Because he's a dwarf. Can apply to that? Oh, no. No, it doesn't apply to rings, sir. 
but we're all gonna assist each other. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, what is this worth? One that wants to make the check because I've got negative in, so someone else might. What's actually what's take the it. check that we're doing? Uh. Sure. He's like to closely investigated. I'll cast guidance on that check though. <laughs> I'll. He actually has advantage. What? Your microphone sounds bad, maybe. Or maybe it's just You're me. You're going... You're going robot. Disappearing robot. I think that might have been because my microwave was on. That's oh. actually very possible. Is, is it any better? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what did you say? I said, I'll assist to give you advantage. Boy, what are, what are you using? I'm investigating the ring very carefully. All right. Um. So plus um. Need a D four for the good thing. Like this plus one D four. Yeah. yeah, we're looking at the ring. Just a sec. Um and. We are back really quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All the stars are aligned. And did I get advantage? Um He said he's gonna give me advantage. Did someone did someone uh, aid you? I don't know. Someone aiding him? Arthur said he was gonna give me advantage, so I don't know what that means. Let's just assume you do have advantage then. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. What happened? Were you aiding with this check? I don't uh, know. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him... I gave him an advantage. Just saying, I give you advantage. That's not terribly descriptive. I'm helping him by being the person he can shoot and bounce price ideas back at. And you had addressed your concerns at uh, Albrecht to us? I'm just going to assume you did. I say, yeah, that'll work. Sorry, what? Did you repeat that? Uh, I said, uh, well, out of character, your character had addressed your concerns. I'm going to assume that. So uh, Blackjack says, yeah, those will work, Albrecht. Give them to Albrecht. I, actually, right. I just I give them to Albrecht. I give them both to Albrecht. I only need one of them, so someone else should be wearing the other one. Mm. Wait, what spell do you need that for? <laughs> Wait, which one? Warding bond. Oh. oh. <laughs> it needs two platinum rings, so I thought that's an amazing coincidence. It's almost like the guy was a wizard or something. That's a cleric spell. Um. True, that is a cleric spell. Huh. I think, personally, what's Zhang's AC and what's uh, um, Lazarus's AC? Mine's 18. But I'm also the one that's targeted them. It doesn't matter. What's Zhang's? 13. 13? Yeah. Yours is... And you're fighting hand-to-hand? -hand? Give it to Zhang. Zhang's should be higher, because he has the staff. It is higher. <laughs> Give it to Zhang. <laughs> that's my opinion. Because, I mean, even with... Being able to impose disadvantage on people who attack Zhang, I mean, he can use every single point that he can get. If he was maybe at the same as you, it, I think it'd be pretty arguable on either way. I hadn't done the math, so I don't know. I'm, by the way, I'm shining my uh, lantern now up into well, uh, the. Stars. It also has the damage. Thing. It has the damage, but then I take the other half. Yeah, the, just forget about the damage stuff. You go up the stairs, and you, you can take more damage anyway. Door. I think Zeng can. 
Yeah, I should be able to. True. No, no, I mean, uh, um, Any Lazarus. I said. Oh, yeah, he should also be able to. Can people hear me? What? Apparently not. Very so, right. are you giving me one of those rings, or? Yeah, I give the ring to that. And plus, he likes jewelry. We've How already... about now? Um, it's about the same. I'm so getting I... ready to just turn you up on my volume thing. I haven't changed the way I'm talking. So, how's so? Do you have to cast a spell and then, or do I automatically have the plus one AC? He casts a I spell. I have to cast a spell. Yeah. It lasts for an hour though. Oh, okay. What kind of action is it to cast a spell? It's just an action. Okay. Zing, uh, self cast sanctuary. I'm forgetting to do that a lot. Up the stairs, you see a hallway, which splits to the left and right, and forward, you can see a door. I lock and load. I shine light left and right. Hallway goes left. Hallway goes right. We keep going left? All right. Looks good to me. Yeah, just a second myself here I'm at the top of the stairs to shine light goes left and right holy moly what's that right there that's stairs going down oh okay show me some more as you reach there, your light shines down into here. Down into and here. And all the way over this direction. Uh, and you see a thing. Holy moly. Oh man, that's a thing. A thing. Is that a bugbear? Um, that is, I'll have to look. It look like a man. Yes, that's a that is a bugbear. Ah, oh, should have read it in action. And you know what? He sees you because you brought a lantern, and he's seeing. Oh, there's a light. Except he's not saying that. He's making noise though. <laughs> I'm rolling initiative. You also hear a few corresponding noises that say there's some other things around. There's other things around. Let me scroll all. Zing ready for action. I gave myself a paper cut on cardboard. You can do that. It's cardboard out of cuts paper. suck, man. That's worse than paper. Cardboard is made out of paper. Stronger paper. Still paper. It's just an e more slightly more evil paper cut. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stronger paper. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put numbers on my. But I keep While you're doing that, I will go get a snack. <clears throat> I just microwaved it, so I'm good. I think Mike thinks I have to label like 50 months. Don't let him think otherwise. Well, I've labeled 47 bugbears now. Now for the three ogres and the small army of Albert. Okay, and now the army advances. No, oh, no! Fend them off! This is interesting.
pairs. But Oops. I'm I am kind of surprised that my microwave kills my internet. It's not even in the way. That's the uh, Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> the slight emission from the microwave screws up your Wi-Fi. Okay, so... You see... Well, let me, let me give you slightly more so you can see what's happening here. And I just go out a little bit. You can see there is a stream going down in a small waterfall. You can't see the waterfall itself, though. And a drop off to somewhere. Can't really see because there's not not any light over there, and it's also down in a hole. And you see scrambling up the slope, another one of these. You see oh, him climbing up a rope. rope? Oh, well, well it's, it's like a cliff, but, you, but there he's he's climbing up a rope. See those three things? There's ropes attached. Those little red, yeah, those. There's ropes attached to them going down. Oh, okay. Climbed up one. I gotcha. A uh, magic missile, then. It's uh, not your turn yet. It's Zang's turn. Good initiative. Like, he had very good initiative. I don't think I can kitty corner that. I don't think you can get a corner. Oh, that? No, I don't think so either. Uh, Zanga. Very short corner. It's just, just staying up here. I'm gonna try something. Give me a second. One. Who's on deck? Uh, Lazarus. Okay. Wow. Everybody's got good initiative. Alright, I go right there, and I'll actually take the dodge action. Can I do that? Um, yes, yes, you can. Does that just impose disadvantage? Yep, and you get advantage on reflex. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So if you know a fireball's coming... Cool. Ah. Get ready to dodge. He figured Mr. Guy here, as he puts his hand down and pulls out a morning star, tries to crush you with it. Keyword being tries. Okay. The crazy part. When he targets me, he has to f make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's the DC? It's, I think it's just 11. Yeah, it's 11. It's just straight 11. There was an error with your formula. How did I screw that up? He stops for just a second and then continues his swing. You save? Yes, he saved. Okay. Then he's immune to the effect for the rest of the encounter. And he does have a disadvantage on this, though, because of your dodge, actually. Yeah. You make him roll all the rolls just to attack you. Yeah, I know. That was, oh, that was oh, kind of the plan, oh. but I don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, not terribly well. He has to take the lower of the two. Wait, I did the formula wrong. I heard oh, oh, like a critical hit, oh, oh, and I'm no, like, there's no, no way, it's one in 400. No, well, basically, I thought to myself, that number can't possibly be that, oh, I did it wrong. That's more like it. He spins it a little circle. Remember his momentum of swinging at you so hard. <clears throat> but he misses. Sweet. And then it's then it's Lazarus's turn. Blackjack on deck. Sweet. So, if I shoved him here, would he fall all the way back down? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Best DM answers. I'm not I'm, sure. I'm bashing well, him back down. 
force me to make a decision. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong book. There we are. Can you do that? Uh, you can shove. No, but can you move twice and shove? I, I'm doing a charging. Can, Basically can, a bull rush. No, you can't do that. I'm so confused oh. about charging now. Because it sounds like I you guys made a house rule. I already told you you can't do what you just said you were doing. It's an attack, no? And I told you specifically you couldn't do a bull rush. Well, I'll just charge him and cut him down. Hit him. He takes uh, that much slash in the air. And he doesn't look very happy about it. And now I'm going to action, sir. And proceed to shove him off. Which is why I'm still looking up shove, because I knew you were going to. I think he just has to make an athletics check. Oh yeah, for your shove, he has to make a check to save against your shove. But the question is, is does he get anything else? Or does he just automatically fall? And I'm thinking he automatically falls if he fails. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Uh, yep, yeah. Okay, you can either knock them prone with your shove or push them back five feet. I'm a push him. So... You have to make an athletics check, which I guess is that. That. Yep. And it's against his athletics or acrobat. Ah, he failed. He goes and tumbles down all the way to. Oh, yeah, the squares down there are wonky. Bye. Have a beautiful time. And he takes some damage from falling. That is the end of that is that end of my turn. Okay, blackjack. Dun 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 fire an arrow at that dude over there. Number one, no. Oh, Bye. yeah, you hit him right in the shoulder. He didn't see me coming down the stairs in time. All right. Ooh. Uh, crushing blow. Turn done. Sorry. You hear something from the darkness to uh, your guys' left. From the darkness? From over oh, here. Yeah, there is that little bit of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be much darkness over here now. Mm. Oh, you can, I agree with. You but, can actually shoot magic missiles into it now. <laughs> there you go. Is that better? Uh, yeah. That is adequate. Yeah, a little bit of there. See a little bit down there. And from the darkness, 
something flies. You. <laughs> you. Well, it has to make its will save. Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom save. Something flies? Which it did. Yeah, there's a small object flying out of the darkness. Do we see it? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's just going real fast, so it's blurry. And succeed. Uh, still disadvantaged <laughs> because of dodge. Oh wait, that's not Is that to hit. And oh. You feel something slam into your shoulder for 13 damage. You look down and there's a small knife sticking out of it. Ugh. Came from the darkness. And it is Albert's turn. Here and cast sacred flame on the one I can see. Fire! He feels rather lonely up there all by himself. <clears throat> oh wait, no. One hit, I think. Oh no, he didn't. But he passed anyway. The fire. The fire. He wipes the flame off of his. Another one climbs up. Is it the one that I kicked down already? Nope. Nope. This one comes up and just smacks you in the face. I put my he, shield in the way. He tries to. It clonks off of your shield. And then it's Zing's turn. No, wait, no, it's not. It's not Zing's turn yet. Because uh, he climbed back up. Uh, let me check something really quick. I don't think you get a free hit on him. I might. For what? <laughs> if a target marked by you is within five feet of you on its turn, and it moves at least one foot or makes an attack but suffers the disadvantage from it, I can attack it. He has not moved while within your reach. Eh, yeah, okay. And he's going to you. He is going to uh, give you a big old slap because of your mistake. I put my shield in the way. He slaps your shield. It makes it sound like a gong. And now it's Zang's turn. Okay, um, we got some target options here. I think the best thing for me to do would be to go after the one that's kind of bruised up already, so I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to whack that one with my stick. Which one? The one that he pushed off that came back up. Oh, this one down here. You clock on on the head. Poor damage. He appears a bit dizzy now. Probably from the falling and the blood loss and such. And then with that, Zing will charge his chi and attempt a dragon kick with a punch and a kick at the same time. Success. You punch and kick him. There's the kick. A 
That's the punch. That's going to hit too. And he flies over the ledge. <laughs> uh huh. Get out. <laughs> he doesn't even make any noise because you knock the breath out of him with the first kick. It was just kind of meaty thud sound, and then he flew off into the distance. Awesome. All right. Good to go. In turn. I'm going to put my shield in the way. Clonk off your shield. These guys don't roll very well. Lazarus. Well, it worked so well last time, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to shove this guy off. He contests. Don't think he's gonna contest. Oh ho, he contests! He shoves back at you! I am surprised! Uh. That, that's all I could really do. Yeah, that was your action. Yeah, uh. That counts as an attack, so he's marked by me. Oh, yeah, that is an attack. So the... And I ready my sword. Blah, electric. Alright, Bartek uh looks at the guys. Could use and some more uh, light in here. What? Oh yeah, yeah. So uh He chucks his crossbow down and he whips out his uh sword. Why is that one pink? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, as you walk out, you, you see more things. Things which might change your movement, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. And as I, I saw all this stuff, I said, get to the ledge! Don't let him up on the ledge! What the is heck that? Is that? That is a drow sitting in a chair. Is Drinking it wine! There? No, it's, a, it's not the same drow. Okay. Even from this distance, you can tell it's not the same drow. So she's, well, they're just sitting in a chair, just laying in daggers. And that would be a he. In any case, I'm going to continue my actions here. These guys are bad news bugbears. That stream isn't very deep. You could probably walk across. I'm not looking to fight her just yet. Him. Him. Him, whatever. It. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, all elves um, are women. Six. I'm attacking right here. I'm attacking the dude from right there. So I'm getting flanking with my superior rapier. Strangely, that is a very half orc attitude. What? The all the all or all elves are women. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Shazam. Yeah, you you hit him pretty hard. Um Shazam! Ah! Take that. It's enough to drop him to the ground. Sweet. Don't let him back up the cliff! No, no, he's dead. And my turn is done. Yeah, but these... Oh, he's dead down there, yeah. <laughs> Kick him off and don't let him back up off the cliff! I forgot to mark him dead because he was in darkness. When, uh... When, like, when you kicked him down there. Okay. You see the drow. Take a knife out out of his uh his uh, pocket, the little knife. His pocket. He stands up. Who's there? Oh, it looked like the whole thing was one thing. I'm so confused. I don't have any contacts. And wait, what? Keep going. Okay, and he and he throws the knife at you. Bye, Jack. Yeah. You, sweet, you bet your sweet baby he does. He better. And it whizzes right past your head. Yeah, because I'm bad like that. The drow has a disappointed look on his face. It had better be a scared look on his face. No, he just turns around and starts walking this way. 
into the darkness. Okay. And it's Albert's turn. I move here and swing at the bugbear. And miss. Dang. Unless I missed in a spectacular way, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> I have an idea. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not telling you to roll one. I'm telling you what was happening. Ah, oh, okay. What happens is you swing around in a circle and drop your weapon. It ends up... Into this square. Oh man. Patunk. All right. That's still the end of my turn. Okay, he's still alive. He laughs that you dropped your weapon. And then attacks. Uh, Zang. Well, he's getting the bad news bears right now. So what is the bad news bears? Uh, well, he's moving into attack Zang. No, and... he's not. He's not moving at all. Well, he's like about to swing, and then Lazarus just kind of like takes his sword and just like flashes right to behead him. You strike. He does not like that. He does not like. That. Oh, one more. It was almost mm -hmm. minimal damage. But he continues his swing. Man, I'm curious how much damage we can rack up if I use distant whispers here. What's your AC, Zion? 13. Yeah, Can it be one did. higher? Oh, yeah. If the Bondy thing happened, yes. No, you, the, the, the staff. It is one higher. My you AC is 12. Plus, you get your wisdom. Your dex is a two, your one is a one. What? I'm, I didn't see any calculation showing that I add my wisdom to my AC. You're, you're a monk. Yes, I, I understand that. You get swamped for ten damage. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And then it is Zangster. I don't understand how you're calculating my AC using wisdom. Unarmored defense, it gives you plus one to your AC. Well, it gives you your wisdom to your AC. I thought they gave me my dex to my AC. What? Huh? Their dex just automatically. Oh wait, never mind, it is 14, I was just doing it wrong. Um, I have it even written down, I'm just retarded, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna whack him back cause he made me do math wrong. Ten plus your dex plus your wisdom. I had it written down. I'm just dumb. It's your turn. <laughs> and you attack. And you miss. I step on his foot. You step. You do a little dance. God damn it. And my turn. <laughs> <laughs> you do a little dance. Lazarus. Um, 
It's like he's trying to do river dance, but it wasn't quite working. It worked on the jelly. That's why I said trying to. Bashy bash. Bash. I don't know if he can contest that one. That's just an attack. Right? No, I'm looking to shove him. Oh, you're shoving? Yeah, I'm shoving him off the cliff. You don't know if you can. He you fails. Can, you can shove aside uh, also. That's a new one. That's yes, you can shove DMG. in any direction. Any direction. That's in the DMG. Shove aside. Oh, well, 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 well. I mean, I was just going to do that so like he could stab him all. You no, just threw him off the cliff. Cool. Okay. Well, he landed on his neck in a very depressing fashion. <laughs> you see, you see his his head's at a very funny angle, right? It's not normal. So, so I don't know about you guys, but I am. I thought I could go for five hours, but this is where I think I'm. I'm broken. That's fine. Well, yeah. before we adjourn, I'm going to give a med kit to uh, Zane. I wish I could play more, but I... I'm medded. Um, How much med do I... Oh my god, yes! All I could possibly <laughs> yes. hope for. All the meds. It is a very useful feat to have. No, yeah, no kidding. Probably the only reason we're still alive. Yeah, yeah that's why I was waiting to heal him. Thing is restored to full life, and it's just kind of like, what the what the hell? Eat your no, pharmaceuticals for Canada or something, Jesus? No, no, they still cost. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, well, anyway, that's nice. Um, so, I guess we're done? How that's much? really fun. If you guys want to stop, that's fine. I do. How much XP we get? We just want to calculate it all later. I think we should calculate all later. Or, you, guys have, you guys have done, um, this is your second encounter? True. So, you only got one encounter experience, and it was only against a single enemy. So it's not a lot. Okay. Um, do it later. You can just calculate it later. It's not like we're going to level up right now anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good night, dudes. All right. So I guess we're done then. I am. Um, Chris, uh, would you mind if I, like, loot the peoples so that we don't have to worry about that later? You can loot them if you want. Yeah, you can climb down the rope and loot them. Well, I... Are you gonna are I, you gonna search or while you're down there or? Uh yeah sure. Give me a perception check. That is for the lootings. Okay, for the lootings. Now give me the searching check because you said you're gonna. That is for the searching. Oh. Let me see if there's anything down there. That is there. Oh wow! Actually, is something down there? Underneath. Is it gonna murder me? I just I I forgot it was down here because I did this. I actually made this map. See this 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 right here? This pile of rubble. Yeah. It's moving around. Uh, underneath it, you see some crushed remains of a skeleton door. But it's still wearing some gauntlets. Oh, gee, what the hell is with this? Why is this like this down here? Yeah, it's wonky down there. Just live with it. I did not make this map. Whoever made this made that made that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some gauntlets on? Yeah, and he's a skeleton. Everything else has rotted away. Only thing uh, left is the gauntlets. Uh... 
Are you the only one on the chat now? No, I think Jake is still here. I'm still here. No, you guys are still there. I shall take the gauntlets. You easily take them off of the dead skeleton. What is it with me? Stuff on dead. That's the second uh, second thing you've taken off of a skeleton in the last like ten minutes. And not even ten minutes. It's been like three. Like I waited around and like we got up here and just shit hit the fan. Uh, I climbed back up and I. How much gold did I get from those guys? Uh, those guys did not have any money on. Oh, so just nothing then. Yep. Home. You mean unless you uh, wear, uh, wear weapons? Nah. Uh, what? I mean, I guess Blackjack could, like, identify. I'll what? just tell you what- I'll just tell you what they are. They're, they are gauntlets of ogre power. Lane. Did you say lane? I said explain. Oh. That's why I was like, oh, I, I know what the lane. gauntlets of ogre power do. Those are great. Gauntlets of ogre power? Make your strength 19. So, one better than it would be. <laughs> Whatever your strength is, it is now 19, unless it is higher than 19. Yeah. I should also mention, they are silver plate gauntlets. So they're, they're very uh, noticeable. However, uh, you do know from just handling for a minute, they probably require attunement to work. What does attunement mean, actually? You uh, spend an hour, or you spend a short rest making them basically yours. And you can also only be attuned to two magic items at once, I believe? Attunement. 5B. Let's see. Is it two? Not sure about that. Da, da, da. No more than three. Oh, is it three? Oh, sorry. It's... For some reason, I thought it was two. So I have. Does my belt require attunement? Uh, no, that belt does not require attunement. The boots do, thank. The boots do not. Oh. At least I don't think they do. Well, uh, like, I was... Well, let, let me look in the, the DMG, because that's the... Well, I, be well, all I, was on that. I was jumping a bit, and you said, like, I didn't jump any high. <laughs> Oh, no, they do require attunement. It just doesn't say that in the adventure. Okay. I think my next level, I'm going to put points into uh, Wisdom and Constitution. Will that raise your Wisdom and Constitution up? Yes, it will bring them both up by a point. Uh, what's your strength at right now? My strength? Yes. 13. And your dex is 14? Yeah. Yeah, these gauntlets I might give to you. Use his strength. Because you use either your dex or your strength for your attacks. Really? Yeah, you can Yeah. Choose. You can choose which one you use on any of your attacks. As long as it's not a ranged attack. What the fuck? Are you serious? That would be insane. Your melee attacks. That would bring well, it's me... not really insane. Bring you up to plus three. Or no, plus four, actually. Yeah, it bring you up to plus four. Jesus Christ, please. So you get an extra two to hit and an extra two to damage. I will say you guys don't technically know what those gloves do yet. I mean, Mike takes like 30 seconds. And... You don't technically know what the gloves do yet. You don't technically know... And then it, it'd take me an hour to attune them, right? Yeah. Well, actually, you could if you... 
That would be crazy. Cause I then I if, if I do that, I can just start putting points in wisdom. Uh, well, I mean, you should still probably have like dex. What else do I use dex, dex for? The thing is, dex also gives you armor. Well, wisdom well, so gives me wisdom. armor too. True, if you're putting it in wisdom, I guess. But it also raises your stealth and like other stuff. It affects your range attacks too, doesn't it? Yeah. For your darts. Yes, because yeah. you can only use dexterity for range. Well, what I was going to do was I can use the gauntlets and I can get all the points in wisdom that I could possibly want and then start raising my dex. Or a con. How many points? His, his wisdom's like a 13. Yeah, my wisdom's 13, my con's 13, my dex is 14. Because my next level up, I get 18 strength and 16 con. We get two points to spread between them, right? Yep. Honestly, I had some really... It is two points or a few. Honestly, I had some pretty shitty rolls when I was making this character. Do, do you want to know what mine are? Sure. 17 strength, 12 dexterity, 15 con, 10 intelligence, 12 wisdom, 10 charisma. Yeah, that's way better than mine. Yeah, Arthur rolled for me, and he did, like, really good. My, yeah, I, I was just, I was just like, holy shit, that's a lot of numbers. My sorcerer so had, had, uh... 17 con, 8, and 17 wisdom, 12 charisma. My sorcerer had way better stats, but I decided to play Monk instead, because I thought he'd be more fun. Sorcerers. You seem to be having a fair amount of fun. Yeah, I'm I'm glad I switched because especially since you guys figured out that that uh your stats aren't Mike that figured what? that out yet. That your stats aren't everything. I'm just having fun. It's like, oh, that guy's near a cliff. Boop. Bye. So I I can use my dex or my strength. Strength. Or your attacks. For my attacks, okay. So, or your melee attacks. that wouldn't be too much of a bonus, because that would just give me up to three, so that'd just be an extra one, because I've got a plus two dex uh, anyway. Up to four. 19 is a plus four. Oh, yeah, then that would be a plus two bonus. That'd be insane for me. That would be insane. Basically, I could prioritize raising wisdom over praising, uh, over raising dexterity for a bit. Is how and good like, that'd be for me. give you the most give you the most bonuses because like plus two like 19 strength for me is just a plus one bonus and for Albrecht it's a plus one I think maybe plus two plus two well yeah but you you usually like stand a bit back and go sacred flame bitch yeah especially next level it's gonna be a 14 save well, the thing well, with the thing with you though you've got a plus two to your uh you've got a plus two to your strength right me yeah. He does. Okay, so that would be a plus two bonus for melee for you as well. But the thing with it for me is, when you start leveling up your stats, what are you going to put points in? Wisdom and Constitution. I already agree with you that you should take it. Okay. Well, no, it's not. It's not even that. It's just I'm I'm trying to basically minimize, ma maximize a little bit on which one of us it would be better for. Um, I guess it would be better be, for me because I basically do all of my attacks in melee, and you have a choice. Yeah, especially See, as I level up, my spells are going to keep getting better and better, and my melee is basically going to stay the same. Exactly. But now, here's the thing. The person that it would technically be the best for in our party would be Mike. Yeah, he does range attacks mostly. Well, yeah, but he has like a 9 strength. Technically, he would get the biggest bonus out of it. Yeah, but he'd be useless with it. Yeah. It's the best, it's the best stat-wise, but the worst utility-wise. Okay. Um, can we, uh, I guess we have to wait for Mike to actually give Zing the gloves. I want to go ahead and just put them on my sheet, just so I can start calculating numbers. Yeah, uh, I can do that. Yeah. Just remember, you don't actually have them. Well, I'm not going to calculate the numbers until I actually get them, because otherwise I'll get confused. 
Honestly, I kind of wish we could just keep going. Jesus Christ, though, that's going to be insane for me. I'm going to get... My strength modifier is going to get boosted three points. Two. No, three? Yeah. God. Yeah, it is three. That's going to be insane. I'm... Oh, my God. Thank you for giving, giving us those gloves. Oh, I love those gloves. Probably never going to take them off. Technically, the boots that I have are probably better suited for the door. You know what? What do they do? They make my speed 30, and I can jump three times as far and ignore difficult terrain and encumbrance. Yeah, I guess that would make me a little bit faster, but they work for both of us. Yeah. You know what? What? I should have nerfed the items for you guys. I know it sounds like I'm kind of being mean or something, but you guys, this this adventure is meant for novice players. Only one of you is kind of novice. Actually, I don't think any of you are. Actually. Nerf the items, buff the enemies. Like, if I have been buffing the shit out of the enemies. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah. Then there's going to be a point where it's going to be like, uh. <laughs> so, well, well, at least think of it this way. We only get three items each that we can attune to. That's true. We can only have a max maximum of three magic items? Attuned. Oh, uh, okay. Cool, okay. We only have three magic items attuned at a time, meaning you could have, like, five magic items that are you require attunement, but you're like, well, tomorrow I'm going to need this, and you could attune to that item and then unattune with one of the items that you don't think. Understood. So basically, you have three good magic items. All right, understood. Got it. Think of it as you have three magic item slots for attunement. And it takes you an hour to put something in that slot. And then other stuff is just like whatever. Yeah, things that don't require attunement, it doesn't matter. There's no real limit. All right, cool. All right, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks, guys, for playing. Bye. All right. See you.